Hi, I'm here today to tell you how to put together the uh, Parts Express Tri-Trix speaker cabinet kit. This is a, um, an MDF uh, speaker cabinet uh, that is cut with an uh, automated CNC machine. This is the front baffle. You'll see that, that uh, they left the center knockouts for the speakers uh, in, the, in the baffle. So we have to knock those out. So really, you can just take that, take it, and push them out with your with your hands. Then it leaves a little bit of it, just almost a paper thin uh, bit of wood there. So you knock those, push that out with your fingers or a, or a knife. And then to finish it off a little bit better, I'll take a a little sanding pad here and just kind of knock the edges off a little bit. Next thing you want to do is put the, uh, the hurricane nuts in the front baffle. So you take those out of the package and basically they just get pounded into the, uh, to the back of the, the back of the baffle. It makes a really good tight uh, connection for the, for the drivers. Next thing I'm going to do is take the uh, one of the sides. You can see that this this cabinet has dados cut out for the uh, for the. This is the back panel, a couple of the the braces, and then the the uh, the corners inside. The, the cabinet is glued and screwed together. But the best thing to do actually is to start by gluing gluing the front baffle. What I'm going to do here is just take and run a bead of uh, just regular wood wood glue down the side of the baffle. I'm going to spread that around with my finger. Mold bead down the edge here. It is right along the, the top edge and this in the front. Now you want to take and uh, wipe off some of the glue off the front of the baffle. You're going to sand this later so you don't really have to get all of it off, but you want to try to get the majority of it off. Okay, at this point, you can uh, let this set up and, and dry overnight. Um, or really it's usually going to be drying in a, in a probably a few hours and then uh, turn it over and we'll we'll put the screws in it after that. Okay when the, the glue is mostly dried or in this case overnight and it's very dried you want to take and go ahead and screw the front baffle but before you do that you need to uh, drill <laughs> pilot holes to make sure that the, the wood doesn't split. These things, when you screw them down, they're called a finish, finish screw. They actually pull down into the, into the nail hole, or the, the pre-drilled hole. And you can use wood putty or filler. What we're going to do is mount the top. So we're going to glue the top panel edges and try to get this aligned as good as you can with the with that. There we go. At this point, since you've got it screwed in, I think you could either, it's up to you, you could either let it set up so that you know, you know, it's not going to move, but the screws will usually keep it in pretty good, 
pretty decent alignment. So I'm just going to, for the purposes of demonstration, going to go ahead and take the clamps off. After that, the small piece is on. All right, now we're going to attach the bottom piece. Next step is to put the back back panel on. It has one screw on this side, so you make sure that's at the at the bottom. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Really well flush with the back of the cabinet. Tighten that down. Next step is to install the two. Uh, braces, a little bit of glue, these guys, just put them right in the middle of the dados and hit them with a hammer. Okay, now we're going to install the waveguides, these go into the dados, they've just got a little bit of an offset to be able to, to push in. It's really not a whole lot that you need to do there. We'll put a little bit of glue on those. On the bottom, and then also on the sides. Okay, this is the rest of the back. You can see this has got a little bit of a bevel on it that matches the angle of the top. So you want to take this and, and put it right there. This is also a little bit harder to put in. You've got the long dado to press into, but we're just going to go ahead and glue. Like I said, this is a little bit harder to do. This one's actually been in this slot once before, so it may be harder for you. It's, it's harder the first time around, but goes in, start at one end. Make sure you use a, a uh, rubber mallet here because a wood hammer will really tear up the edge of the uh, edge of the wood. Now we're ready for the for the other side panel, and we need to run your glue all the way around. Also, put a little bit of glue around the edges of this. The hardest part of the project is getting the side panel on. So the way I found that it's that makes it a little bit easier is get the spin it around and get the top aligned and clamped. And then work your way down with the on the the back panel. Okay, now we're we're aligned. Now's when you need about as many clamps as you can get, and uh, start tightening up just a little bit because you still have to do some alignment on the tops and the bottoms, and put the rest of your screws in. Okay, now you're ready to turn it over and take the clamps off. Now you wait for it to set up and go back and fill your screw holes and start the finishing process.